What's going on my friends? Joel here today. You want to live the van life? You want a really nimble, maneuverable, short-bodied van for living that van life? Well, I got it right here by me. It's the Play SRT by Roadtrek. A lot of people ask, Joel, what does the SRT stand for in the Roadtrek Play SRT? And the answer is, I don't know. No, it stands for short, okay? So SRT, short. It's a shorter body. You'll notice that it's only 19 feet long. A lot of these road treks and a lot of these B vans are actually 20 or 21 feet because they're built on the Ram ProMaster chassis. Uh, those chassis are usually about 21 feet uh, in length. But the SRT version is a shorter version and we'll go inside in a second and I'll show you uh, some of the features. Uh, but you lose that extra foot or two in the bed in the back. So uh, some people prefer a bigger bed. Um, but the nice thing with these SRTs and these shorter vans is you can get into absolutely any parking space you want. You want to stay the night at Walmart? No problem. You want to stop at a casino? No problem. And you know what? If you're looking for places to sleep for free and live the RV lifestyle, well, casinos are a great place. Overnight at Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's. I've seen uh, some churches allow you to park and stay overnight. Uh, there's a lot of different options. But let's go and I'll show you some of the features of the exterior and then we'll go inside and I'll show you all the nice features of the interior. So right off the bat, you notice a nice uh, solid runner. It doesn't have the electric power steps like some of the Road Trek uh, Zions do. This is the play version. This is kind of your most, uh, your entry level version of the road trek and again this is the play srt only 19 feet so you've got your uh, your step right into the coach there uh, the other nice thing about these road tracks all of this look how nice the finishings are on this it's all magnetized this is where your propane is really nice and uh, a very sleek finish these road tracks uh, sit very low to the ground making our way around the coach so a 35 a uh, hundred pound hitch. You do have your outdoor shower on the Play SRT, so that's a bonus. And then coming around here, you have all of your uh, sewage systems. So here's your black and gray, it's only one pole, it's gravity. But the thing, the nice thing about these road tracks is you do have a macerator. So in here is a macerator, and uh, some people ask, well, what is a macerator? A macerator helps macerate or, or, or mulch up all of your waste uh, from your toilet. And then there's a pump as well, the button, uh, I'll show you the button for the macerator in a minute. But the, once you press that macerator button, it's actually gonna pump out all of your uh, your black water, so your number one and number two from the toilet. And uh, you know, because these uh, road tracks sit so low to the ground, sometimes the gravity pull, it's hard to actually make that work. So so the macerator is uh, the next best option. You can pump it if the dump station is uphill a little bit. You just take the macerator hose and you pump it out and it just cleans the tank entirely. So that's a really nice feature of these road treks. Truma AquaGo tankless on-demand hot water. All right, so that's a feature. You don't have to wait for the tank to heat up. So here is your gasoline fill. A lot of people ask, you know, uh, are these RVs uh, diesel or are they gasoline? All the RVs that you see, uh, the, the B vans that are built on the Ram ProMaster chassis uh, are gasoline for the most part. So uh, you don't have to worry, just like filling up a car. And I'll show you that macerator button. That button right there is the macerator button. So now that we've seen the outside, let's go into the interior and I'll show you all the cool features. So the other thing to mention with these all of these road treks is you do have the, the two swivel seats in the front and super easy to just swivel these around um, and you know they lock into place like that. Uh, you can relax here, the table goes right between here and you can eat uh, and, uh, and this is where you can lounge. Making our way inside the coach here, you'll notice that uh, you've got the creamy malt interior on this. So the lighter interior, it's called creamy malt. It's the lighter color. A lot of people like the lighter color. It brightens up the inside of the coach. I'm gonna first show you uh, these Road Trek uh, bathrooms, okay? So these are the wet baths. So there's a little latch at the bottom and this is the bathroom to these road tracks. So I'm six feet tall, 5'11", and you can see that I can stand up, you know, perfectly straight in this. Uh, the shower's here, you do your thing, you know, you've got space for the toilet. A lot of people think that when this door closes, it's right up here, it's not actually. So you have a little latch right here. So you actually have this um, bathroom and this little latch, you have a lot of floor space here. Uh, so it doesn't feel as, as cramped as some people might think. So you also have your curtain for the shower and all that good stuff. And this is how you secure 
this wet bath when you're driving. Uh, right here, you have a little bit of a, uh, just an extra counter space on this unit. Okay, so when you're cooking. And the cool thing about the road tracks that everybody loves is the famous road track pantry. So you can put all your food in here. Um, you know, it's just great for, uh, for storage and it looks super cool when you pull it out and it rides really well. It's all very secure. So there's that pantry. You have a huge five cubic foot refrigerator and, uh, and freezer in this. So, you know, for one or two people, this is absolutely perfect. A lot of people like that larger fridge as compared to something like the Winnebago Solus, for example, that only has, I think, a two or three cubic foot fridge. Uh, you get the big five cubic foot fridge in this. And here is kind of your main uh, deep storage for pots, pans, and everything like that. You do have more storage under the sink area there, as well as more storage in through there, as well as a little bit of a drawer here. And then you also have your two burner propane stove. And then you also have your microwave up through here. Uh, another thing to mention in through this coach is the fantastic fan. Okay, these things are excellent for circulating air through the coach. You flip that on, you may not even need the AC. So moving all the way to the back, you can see that this configuration is the what's called the rear facing sofa. Okay, so um, in these road treks, they come in a few different layouts, but this rear facing sofa uh, is nice. Now, because this is the SRT, you do lose two feet. This is only 19 feet in length, okay? I'm going to make this, uh, this sofa into a bed and you can see what that looks like right now. So once the sofa is down, then you take this uh, piece of wood and it just fits right in here, just like that. And these cushions right here fill in the puzzle piece so that you actually do have your full bed. Now I'm six feet tall, but I can sleep vertically like this, or horizontally, I should say, like this. If you're one person, you can sort of sleep uh, horizontally and get more room, but this is, you know, this is more than enough for, uh, for two people. So super easy to put the uh, sofa up and down. It's just a push of a button on the side here. All right, so now that we've seen the bed configuration, I am gonna show you the table that goes right here. So this is this uh, front-facing sofa is really nice because if two people are here, you've got three seat belts back here, so it rides five. Um, but if it's two people, you know, you sit here, you set up your table and you can eat, and I'll show you what that looks like. The table is generally stored in here, in this big compartment, as well as extra cushions. And all you do is you take this so that sits in there and then behind so it just sits nicely right on there and voila you've got a perfect dining table uh, to sit and lounge so the other thing is you've got your double windows here so you get the airflow right you just open these windows like this you've got night and day shades so when you're when you're relaxing at the beach uh, all you do is simply click click that in you've got your screen no bugs are going to get in you can eat your dinner uh, with your partner and uh, you just feel the breeze coming through and if you open that other window you get the cross breeze so at night you may not even need to run your ac but that's a good time to mention that you do actually have a very powerful Dometic air conditioner. Uh, you can block off uh, which direction the air shoots uh, and it's going to absolutely cool this place down in no time. And I should also mention all of the storage that you do have uh, on the um, over top here. So all of this is extra storage as well. This is the Road Trek Play SRT, guys. Thanks for watching our tour of the 2023 Road Trek Play SRT. My name's Joel. I'm the owner of RV Management USA. If you do own an RV like this road track, if you own a Class A, a Class B, or a Class C motorhome, and you're not using it all that much, you want us to manage it for you, we'd be happy to manage your RV. Rent it out on your behalf. Uh, we get a lot of people wanting to rent, try before they buy, and it's a great way to make passive income with your RV when you're not using it. We store the RV, we clean it, we maintain it, and we make sure it's making money for you all year long. So give us a shout. RVManagementUSA.com. I'm Joel. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.